I'm gonna take ordinary store-bought cinnamon rolls and our shack. It's great for um Sunday morning container, Pillsbury scent. Hi everyone, tonight I have a fabulous recipe for you guys. I'm gonna take ordinary store-bought cinnamon rolls and take them to another level. Now, I've never been a fan of cinnamon rolls unless they came from Cinnabon, the renowned bakery that sells them inside malls and inside their shop. But with a few ingredients, I'm going to show you how to make something really, really nice that's quick. So I have an eight um, cinnamon rolls in that pack. I'm going to add pecans. You can't do nuts and leave the nuts out. And I'm going to use some apple butter. That's all you need. I have a pan that's big enough to hold eight, eight um, biscuits. Well, they're not biscuits. I'm sorry, cinnamon rolls. And I've sprayed it with some Pam. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. Um, this recipe is great. Um, you can also, if you don't like apple butter or if you've never had it, please give it a try. You can swap that out for um, pumpkin puree or sweet potato puree. So I'm going to go ahead and fight with that can. If you um, haven't seen my last video, the um, ultimate pull apart bread um, apple butter, that is absolutely delicious. It's like candy. I mean, that's one of the best dishes I've had, desserts, and I have an insatiable sweet tooth. I'm going to put you guys on pause and fight with that can. I think they're harder to get open these days than they were in the 70s. It took me 20 minutes last time, and I know you guys don't want to see that. So I'll put you on pause. I'll be right back. Let's get cooking. Okay, everyone, I was shocked. It opened right up, and it's not opening like it should, but we're going to try and make this work. Um, you got to take these out, and it comes with frosting. I'm going to frost four of them. And the other four I'm not going to frost. I've never been a fan of the uh, frosting that comes with this, even in college. But um, we'll see. It's been years since I've used these. Because like I said, I normally do the Cinnabon thing. So you want to take these out. Like so. And hopefully, we can get these to unroll. Uh, let me see. Okay, everyone, I had to wait for my oven to get to 375. I know you didn't want to hear that beeping. So I've decided to do these a different way than I did them the first time. I'm just going to put these in the pan, and I'm going to cook them for almost done. And then I'm going to put the apple butter on and add the nuts at the end. Normally, I would unroll this, and the apple butter would be inside. But like I said, I've decided to change it up a little bit for you guys. But I think I'm going to put a little bit of apple butter on the top of each one just to get started. So I'm just adding some apple butter on top. And everybody's oven's different. I'm using a non-stick pan. So if you're using a different type of a metal pan, you might want to go to 400 degrees. I'm at 375. And this should be 17, no longer than 20 minutes max. And as you see, this stuff is, you know, it's apple butter. So you know it's full of butter and sugar. So I don't know if I'll need the frosting or not. That one's upside down. You want to put them with this side up with the um, cinnamon part where it's rolled. So got those all covered lightly with a little bit of apple butter. I'm gonna put these in the oven, let them go for about 17 minutes and come back and show you guys what these look like. This is really delicious if you've never had apple butter like this old school, you might wanna give it a try. So I'll be back in a few moments. And don't forget, upload two videos a week. I always include inspirational quote and add a controversial joke at the end. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe great for um, Sunday mornings or um, brunch or if you have people over you just want to do something different like I said I'm not a fan of cinnamon rolls unless they're bought out at a bakery okay guys I took these out in about 10 minutes to go it doesn't appear to be enough um, apple butter on there to my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and add a generous amount to these because I want them to be really really gooey gooey so yeah, this shouldn't affect the baking time. I've, I've got 10 more minutes to go. You see they start to puff up a little bit and look like most of it had um, melted off or, well, it didn't melt off because it's not in the pan. It's just not enough on here. So yeah, you definitely want to be generous. That's my mistake. So I'm going to add some nuts on top. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the nuts on now and put them back in the oven and let them continue baking. I thought this would be really different. Like I said, if you've never had apple butter, you definitely have to give this a try. This needs a little bit more. You know, I have an insatiable sweet tooth, so nothing is ever too sweet for me. I love sweet stuff, especially desserts. So I'm gonna use pecans this time. 
and sprinkle a few pecans on top. Just one change up recipe for you guys if you guys want to try something different. Like I said, um, we ate these a lot in college. I think that kind of burned me out. And, um, and like I said, I never really was a big fan of uh, cinnamon rolls um, out of the can anyway. So I'm gonna put some more on this one. I had to come up with an idea to make these more appealing. So there you go. I'm gonna put these back in the oven. We've got another 10 minutes to go. And then I'll take them out, tell you guys my joke. I think it's pretty funny. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, that took about 20 minutes in the oven. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the frosting that came with this, smooth some of it on four of them, just to give it different taste, different complexity. And um, yeah, they're, they're nice and completely cooked. And I have an electric oven, so you might have to definitely um, check your oven time because it may go, the box, the um, container, Pillsbury said, 17 minutes but mine took the full 20. I'm just putting one you know I'm gonna put it on all of them. I'm gonna do four but I'll make them all the same. And like I said if you like this video please like subscribe and share. I'm gonna get these set up and then get ready to tell you guys my joke. And um, if you like apple butter like I said definitely check out my pull apart bread. You definitely want to give that a try. I'm gonna make a different dessert but the next time I'm gonna use salted pecans. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, there you have it. They are, they look delicious. I've been picking at them a little bit. So these are cinnamon rolls, Pillsbury, with apple butter and pecan nuts added to the top. And I did use the frosting on all of them that accompanied the can. Let me read you, read you guys my joke. Yesterday, a guy got a flat tire on the highway. So he eased his car onto the shoulder, got out, opened the trunk, and took out two cardboard men, unfolded them, and stood them at the rear of the car, facing oncoming traffic. They... Hmm. Okay, guys, let me tell you guys my joke. Yesterday, a guy got a flat tire on the highway, so he eased his car onto the shoulder, got out, opened the trunk, and took out two cardboard men, and folded them, and stood them at the rear of the car facing oncoming traffic. They were dressed in open trench coats that exposed their nudity to oncoming drivers. They looked so lifelike you wouldn't believe it. The traffic started slowing down to look at the lifelike men. Of course, traffic began to back up, and everyone beat their horns and waved like crazy. It wasn't long before a, straight, a state trooper pulled up behind the guy. When he got out of his car, he started walking towards the guy who had the flat. He could, the driver could tell he was not at all a happy camper. What's going on here? The officer demanded. My car has a flat, the guy said. He said the officer said, but what are those obscene, horrible men doing by the road? The man said he could not believe it, that he did not know those were his emergency flashes. Hello. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, his emergency flashes. I guess that works. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like I said, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, have a good evening, and God bless. I hope to see you on the next one.